When planning any kind of service, you have to be sure that the capacity you put in place can deal with the demand that's coming through the door, especially in a sector like ours, where referrals can vary from week to week. Using a waiting list helps smooth this out, but managing a sustainable waiting list is all about matching demand and capacity. Too much capacity could mean wasting valuable resources. Too much demand and not enough capacity and your waiting list will get longer until it's impossible for you to see all your patients within a maximum waiting time. So where do you draw the line? Just how much capacity do you need to cope with the variability in demand and not allow the waiting list to grow? Agner Erlang was a statistician who developed a method of calculating how to do this in the 1920s. His work suggested that capacity needs to be set to somewhere between the 80th and 85th percentile of the variation of demand. But what is a percentile? A percentile is simply a way of dividing a data set into a hundred equal parts. Some percentiles have special names. For example, we call the 50th percentile the median and the 75th percentile the upper quartile. Let's say if you have a set of 10 measurements and put them in order from lowest to highest, because we have an even number of data points, the 50th percentile will be the midpoint between the two middle values, which in our data set are 28 and 36. So this will be 32, because 50% of your measurements are either equal to or below that number. Which is why even though these numbers range from one to 100, the 50th percentile isn't 50. Here, there are only three measurements equal to or over 50, so it's quite exceptional for them to go over 50. In 50% of our measurements, we get a value of 32 or less. Understand? Good. Now that you understand percentiles, let's look at an example based in the real world. Let's say you recorded the number of new referrals you've received in orthopaedics every week for the last 20 weeks. There will naturally be some variation from week to week. To find our percentile, like before, we reorder the list by the number of referrals from the smallest to the largest. We now want to figure out which percentile will give us a good balance between over-providing capacity and keeping our waiting list manageable. Erlang's work suggests that this should be between the 80th and 85th percentile. From experience, we have found that the percentile at which you should have your capacity for a healthcare service can be between the 65th to 85th percentiles. In this example, for simplicity, we will use the 80th percentile. 80% 80 of 20 is 16, so we take the week with the 16th highest number of referrals in it which gives us a value of 75. Assuming that future demand behaves in a similar way, if we aim to see 75 people on our waiting list each week, in only four weeks out of 20 would demand outstrip supply and our waiting list get longer. In the other 16 weeks, we should have enough capacity to meet demand, so the waiting list should get shorter or stay the same length. When trying to decide which percentile to set, for the capacity of your own service, you'll need to look at two main factors. How urgently your patients need to be seen and how variable your demand is. As a general rule of thumb, bigger services will experience less variation than smaller ones. So, if you have a small cancer service and your patients need to be seen urgently, within two weeks for example, then setting your capacity to the 85th percentile of demand will keep your waiting list shorter and help to ensure that they are all seen in time. On the other hand, a large, non-urgent dermatology outpatient clinic with a relatively stable level of demand will probably have a bit more leeway. So setting the capacity to the 65th percentile of demand might be a better way of resourcing your clinics in this instance. It is only by gathering and reviewing your own figures and assessing the needs of your service and patients that you'll then be able to make an informed judgment about which percentile value to use. This will then enable you to make the best of the resources you have, as well as being able to manage a sustainable and effective waiting list.